Crescendo, your program for the performing arts. Crescendo is a production of international artists in New York City and Seattle, Washington. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Crescendo. This week we have certainly a special episode indeed. We are at the home of Raymond Levine and Barbara Hammerman, and we are going to see one of the most beautiful organs in the world. Raymond, thank you so much for having us here. And I thank Crescendo for coming and filming uh, this uh, episode. Thank you. We are very, very pleased to be here. Let me tell you just a little bit about how this all started. Theater Pipe Organ, you've seen many times on our show. And you know that theater pipe organs were originally built for theaters to accompany silent films. Now, many people have a mistaken idea about this because they feel that theater organs supplanted orchestras in theaters. But that's really not true. They augmented orchestras. And in smaller theaters that could not afford orchestras, they still provided a wonderful accompaniment for silent film. Silent films started off being accompanied just by a piano player. And in the larger theaters in larger cities, they had orchestras. And finally, since orchestras could not work for five shows a day, seven days a week, they employed organists and installed wonderful pipe organs designed by Robert Hope Jones and the Wurlitzer Company. Now, there were many manufacturers of theater organs but certainly everyone knows that the mighty Wurlitzer was the finest of these. Raymond, why don't you tell us just a little bit about how this house and this organ came to be. In the mid-1980s, uh, Dick Wilcox uh, found this property and uh, um, not only built the home, but also at the same time uh, purchased the, uh, w uh, what is the Brooklyn Fox from the Cardinal Pizza Palace in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, the installation in the home was completed in uh, late 1987. Now, Dick not only uh, built this house and saved this organ, but he also designed the computer control system that runs this entire instrument. Because you're going to hear me play it today live, but everything that I play can be replayed again through the computers in the organ. It's a very, very special instrument. You know, I have to say that it is thanks to people like you, Raymond, that we have things like this, because the Brooklyn Fox was a theater that was finished with its organ. And as far as they were concerned, it was going to be thrown away. It went into a pizza parlor in Fort Wayne, Indiana. But even after those days of pizza organs kind of died out, it's just a very fortunate thing that Dick found this magnificent organ because it is one of the finest Wurlitzers ever built and installed it in this home. And it's due to the great generosity of people like you and Barbara that make this accessible to the public. They still have silent films here so that the organ can do its job just as it did in the theater. Thank you so much, Raymond. Thank you, and I, I would also be remiss that uh, the installation of the uh, this pipe organ was done by uh, Ed, Zol Ed, and, uh, Ed and Patty Zolman. Yes, yes. It's wonderful that their expertise, and I have to say of all the theater organs that I've played, this one is the finest rebuild that I have ever seen. You're going to hear why.
Thank you for joining us on this episode of Crescendo. We hope to see you next time.